I love you. See you at the championship. Max Plansky can't speak, but he has a voice. This is the story of how Max got his voice. Max Plansky has cerebral palsy. That means he doesn't have enough control of the muscles in his mouth and tongue to be able to speak. So he uses an alternative communication device, or AAC, to speak on his behalf. Lacking the motor skills to type sentences, Max pushes a button on his wheelchair's headrest to select pre-composed phrases he often uses. How are you? Or to type words letter by letter with his AAC. Just the tall diamond. For years, only a limited range of voices has been available on devices that help people like Max communicate. Now, a technology-driven push is underway to create more personalized voices instead. Rubel Patel has been working to personalize the synthetic voices of people who don't have the ability to speak. A speech pathologist and computer science professor at Northeastern University, her research led her to found a startup called Vocal ID, which has developed its own method for creating individualized synthetic voices. We tell a lot about people, or we know a lot about who it is that we're interacting with because of their voice. For someone who uses a device to talk, there's a barrier. You really like. And that barrier is you're talking through a box, and that box is really quite generic. And it's only really now that we're starting to think about, well, what should that voice sound like? So in an infinite universe, there must be other occurrences of life. Max's father, Michael Plansky, has worked hard to help his son have the life of a normal teen despite Max's disability. A former basketball coach, Michael founded an organization that helps young people with disabilities engage in social activities. And for his son, who also loves basketball, Michael established a program that enabled Max to form friendships with members of the Northeastern University men's basketball team. So when Dr. Patel contacted him about new technology that could help enable Max to sound more like the teen that he is, Michael was eager to get Max involved. I realized that he doesn't have many choices in his life. Um, by Max having, being able to have his own unique voice, that empowers him so that he can be himself. He doesn't have to speak with someone else's voice. That voice, which Max has been using since he was about seven, was a robotic-sounding adult that's heard on many similar devices. Would you mind answering a few questions for me? No problem. So Michael and Dr. Patel set off to bring Max's own voice to life. Creating an individualized synthetic voice involves blending the sounds that a person like Max can make. After recording those sounds, Dr. Patel's team searches the Vocal ID Voice Bank, a database full of audio recordings for the voice of a person that's close in age and size. How are you today? How are you today? Vocal ID has been building its voice bank since December of 2014. Donors from anywhere in the world can contribute recordings through Hi. its website. While recording, Hi. donors are prompted to read a series of Hi. words and phrases that covers virtually every possible phonetic sound and combination of sounds in the English language. There's two steps in preparing to build Max's voice. First, we take his voice recordings, we take the recordings of the match donor, and we blend them through using our speech signal processing algorithms. That's something called speech morphing. Those morphed speech samples are then used to train a speech synthesis engine that builds a computational model of what Max's own voice could sound like. Then the new voice is loaded onto Max's AAC. At an event with the Northeastern men's basketball team in December of 2015, Max got to show off his voice for the first time. Turn over to you. Getting the new voice through a full ID is a really new opportunity for me. It was just crazy. You could just see the, the rush to his face and just like satisfaction. It's exactly pretty much we thought we were going to hear. I think it sounded a lot like him just from being around him and hearing his like emotions kind of when he gets happy or sad. Max is getting used to his new voice, but down the road, as he gets older, it will likely need an update. I want to become a sports reporter. Max, his speech therapist, and others are also now brainstorming on how to make it easier for him to communicate with his new voice. The biggest obstacle that we've run into is that his communication device just isn't as efficient as it needs to be. And the best part of this whole thing is that he's sharing those ideas with his own voice, and he gets to become the person that we all want to be and have our unique voice. Northeastern basketball. It is going to be a new game to be a third of the 